Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different 12 YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, just manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all is surely coming to you for sure. If this is your first, second, or third time or more to my YouTube channel, you guys, welcome, happy to have you. Before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Different 12 and you come and learn about your girl. And speaking of coming and learn, I know some of y'all wonder, who is this chick? <laughs> well, my name is different of course i'm an author motivational speaker and ceo of my own business third eye entertainment llc a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate inspire and entertain you guys all at once so again first second or third time it don't matter just hit that subscribe button for your girl yeah for sure uh, so, though, what's today, you guys? Sunday. So, happy Sunday, you guys. Uh, beginning of the week. Let's start it off right. Um, Sundays, you guys know I drop my spiritual, motivational, inspirational content for you guys to uplift you and get you started right on your week. Um, so, this uh, Sunday is going to be no different. I've been, you know, praying and meditating and dealing with life uh, trials and tribulations, uh, which leads me to my title of this con uh, Sunday's content. is going to be... Uh, using your enemies as your footstool man when life goes against you when people come against you and try to you know stop you and block you from getting yours you don't you know respond by getting back at them and, and trying to you know how they say eye for an eye what you do is just let them you know use them as your footstool as it says in the bible for those that are spiritually in tune and again i, I understand a lot of people like myself are not a religious person I, I like i always tell you guys i'm not religion i had to lose religion in order to gain a relationship with god and so for those out there that are on their spiritual journey and their walk everybody is different but we all going through the same thing and sort of speaking so when it comes to that aspect of you know coming up against the enemies and, 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 and wondering whether if you're going to fall or if you want to, you know, break through it, you have to know and understand that what comes your way, even when it's people trying to stop you and block you, sometimes you got to let God use them, uh, use your enemies as your footstool. And it even says so, you know, in his good book, uh, what is it, Psalms uh, 110 verse 1, where it says, you know, sit in my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool at your feet. And so... With that being said, you guys, uh, and I, and I find this kind of, it was challenging for me as well, you know, this past couple of weeks, man, I had so many people coming against me. Well, not so many, but I had, you know, one or two haters I had to deal with with my job and in my family and to the point where I just had to say, hey, am I going to respond in a negative way or am I going to let God, you know, take care of this and, you know, step in and take care of my enemies and allow him to use them as my footstool? And he said it, you know, what is meant for your harm, he will turn it to good. And so at times, I know at times for me, I be wanting to, you know, you know, <laughs> be a spawn of Satan and get back at him. But I've been learning, you know, the art of, of taming the tongue and, and not responding as well as, again, letting God use my enemies as my footstool. I can give a, a perfect example of last week I was working and, um, you know, co-worker, you know, she, she's hating on me, trying to get me in trouble and throw me under the bus. And she did. It worked. But, you know, in essence, you know, God turned right around and blessed me with something bigger and better. And, you know, I don't even know what's going on with that lady. If, you know, something happened to her, if karma's coming back on her, or whatever. That's that's not my business. What it is for me is just to allow God and let him take care of my enemies and not, you know, feel like I got to play, you know, that right hand to God and, and get my payback in my own way. He'll vindicate me. and He can vindicate you as well. And so when it comes to those that be trying you, you know, within your family-wise, and those that look down and turn their back against you and, you know, they talk about you, don't worry about, you know, with, with responding and, and having a clap back for them. Just let God use them as your, your enemies, as your footstool, and let them see what they're missing out on. And so, um, y'all know me, I don't like to talk too, too much. I talk a lot. <laughs> so, uh, when it comes to motivating you guys, it takes, I believe, more than one person you got to hear it from in order to, you know, believe and receive it. And so, I found these two little short clips. Um... Uh, that I like to share with you guys in regards to, you know, uh, guys teaching about, you know, allowing and forgiving your enemies as well, as well as just a, a morning meditation or prayer that you guys I found. Um, it helps me at times, and so it may help you guys as well. So here it is. Check it out. And once we're done, I'll come back on, talk a little bit more about, you know, using our haters as our footstool, and then I'll let you guys know what's going on else in this different world. Yeah, here it is.
Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. What think ye? He is guilty of death. 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 But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. But whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him, twain. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn thou not away. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his sun to rise on the evil and on the good and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. God, guide me today. Dear God, if I'm wrong, correct me. If I'm lost, guide me. If I start to give up, keep me going. I love God. Because though I deserve nothing, He gave me everything. When God pushes, you to the edge, trust Him fully. Because only two, things can happen. Either he will catch, you when you fall, or he will teach, you how to fly. Faith in God, includes faith in, his timing. God lends a helping hand to the man who tries, hard. Every day is a gift from God. There's not guarantee of tomorrow, so that tells me to see the good in, this day to make the most of it short inspirational quotes about faith in God in difficult times all right everybody welcome back I hope you guys enjoy watching those two small clips uh, talking about you know how you must forgive your enemies and, and, and walk in the light of the Lord as well as you know asking for forgiveness from yourself and for others uh, I feel that those messages are right there is important in regards when it comes to letting God use your enemies as your footstool. A part of that works is, you know, when you let go and let God and stop holding grudges and, and wanting to get revenge. That was my problem in the back of the day. You know, I, I stayed crying over spilled milk, if you will. And it hit me like an epiphany two months ago. It's like, why the hell do I cry over spilled milk when I could just fix me a bigger and better cup? And so it goes in terms of, you know, just letting go and let God and trusting him when it comes to vindication and, and vengeance and, and him taking care of you and, and allowing your enemies to be used as your footstool stool when they do you wrong. Now, mind you, you have to look at yourself as well when it comes to, you know, how you treat people. And so when in essence, when we're doing wrong and we don't want it to come back on us, we have to make sure we don't go back and, and try to get back at our enemies because they can backfire on us. God ain't going to look down on that when he's seeing we being vengeful when it's time for us to move on. And so, you guys, um, I, it's my hope and prayer. And I know it's not easy. It's not perfect. It's hard for me at times. It, 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 I'm battling it right now. So that's why I'm sharing with you guys. You know, I, I, I witnessed just a piece of it, you know, when I let go and let God 
and let him vindicate me and, 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 and take care of my enemies for me. He blessed me with so much more and so much bigger and better. And I'm able to move on to bigger and better. And so that's the spiritual message I want you guys to take away today. Uh, even though I'm in a little bit more somber and serious manner, is I still want you guys to be positive in whatever you guys are going through in your trial and tribulations, you know, workplace, relationship-wise, you know, dealing with a family member, you know, anybody can be an enemy, you know, that, that if sometimes it's your friends that turns to your enemies, you know, you never really have enemies, they always start as your friends, but anything that comes against you for evil, just trust and allow the Lord to use it for your good, even if you don't see it right then and there, sometimes down the road, you'll see it more clear, so give yourself time and space and, and patience to grow and see, you know, what the Lord has planned for you. That was also my problem as well. I was very, you know, hasty and as as well, like like I said, when people did me wrong, I was I was real big on a big payback. And now I'm just, you know, all about letting go, let God and stop crying over spilled milk. That's what it is. When when you stop crying over spilled milk and you let God, you know, turn your enemies and use them as a footstool that's when you're able to move on and move upward and achieve your goals and your dreams. And so, takes and see you guys. Just try it. I challenge you all out there that's watching this week. You know, any bad or good or any, uh, excuse me, enemies that come before you and that try to, you know, hate on you and take you down or, or throw you under the bus, just say, okay, you know, let it happen and say, hey, Lord, take care of this for me and then see what happens, you guys. And so, if you like what I'm talking about, the message that I'm bringing in regards to, you know, letting God use your enemies and turn them into your footstool, you guys can show me by definitely liking, sharing, comment, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys, I definitely appreciate all the love and support that I am giving. Please keep it coming. Don't forget, you guys, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and you guys can check out all my other social media handles, my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and of course, my YouTube. Also, you can book me for any type of motivation speaking events or grassroots conversations you'd like for me to be a part of. I'm free of charge as of now. You would just need to go to my website and book your girl. That's again, differenceworld.net. Lastly, you guys, on my website page, don't forget to check out and get your copy of my book, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift. You guys, again, my book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations, so be advised. It's intended for a mature audience. It has sister content. And so if you can't take this type of heat, just bring your fire blanket and come on into the kitchen still. Because <laughs> that's the point of it all, you guys. Having these conversations that needs to be had and, and pushing for that systemic change that we all need. And so again, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Yep. Yeah? All right, you guys. Moving right along on a different train. What else we got going on in Difference World, you guys? Tomorrow is Monday. And so... Um, Motivational Mondays is when we drop our uh, motivation content. So again, that's why you guys got to hit that notification bell. <laughs> you come and learn about your girl when I drop this content. And so be on the lookout for that, you guys. I'll be dropping another motivation vlog for you guys. Uh, and then coming along, we have uh, finishing out. This is still Women's History Month. And so I'm um, still going to represent to the fullest. And so again, hit that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn, okay? moving right along <laughs> what else we got going on you guys um that's pretty much all you know just um i was planning on going to the rodeo maybe doing a little vlog for that for you guys but we'll see um what else lastly but most importantly our mental health check time you guys is for anybody out there including myself that may be going through any type of mental anguish mental you know stress whatever the case may be you know bullying depression feeling suicidal having anxiety attack just know that it is okay to not be okay, but do not ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that may mean, to be talking with a therapist, a family member, a friend, reaching out to your pastors, get on medication, picking up hobby, whatever that case may be, do it. Uh, if you know anybody or you yourself may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273. 8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. For those that would prefer to go online, you can visit mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. watching your girls in different countries, oh yes, I, I do have people out there that know about your girl in different countries. You guys can check out ncounseling.com. That is spelled E-N-C. 
O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. And again, remember you guys, although I am providing you with these mental health resources, it's on you to do your own homework and find your own, look for your own research and find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters, okay? And just remember, whatever you are going through, this too shall pass and you are not alone. So going off the deep end is not worth it. So don't do it, okay? So I want to close this out on a positive message and a positive note and positive energy for you guys. And wishing you all a, a safe and happy and blessed and prosperous week. Uh, ending out, you know, March is going by so fast, you guys. But that's why you guys got to keep going, keep grinding, keep motivating. Because one day when you look up and you see all that time is passed, you want to make sure you look back and see, see that you have something to show for you guys and yourselves. So with that being said, you guys. Again, don't forget, like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember, whatever life that you guys are feeling you're destined and plan, uh, excuse me, feeling that you're destined for, <laughs> you guys got to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial death and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.